Hey guys, it's Frame, and today I'm here to bring you a 100k plus an hour money making guide. The only requirement to this guide is that you have the completion of the quest, Death to the Dorshigan. It is recommended that you have at least 30 thieving for this guide as well. It is also recommended that you have at least 55 magic, although it is not required. I would also recommend that you have full ham as it reduces the chance of getting kicked out of the ham hideout. If you do not have ham robes, however, then you will be able to slowly get them over time with this guide. I recommend that you have at least 10 food on you at all times. I use kebab due to the fact that they're 1 coin each and have the potential to heal up to 30 hit points. Although you should keep in mind that kebabs normally heal an average of 5 to 7 HP. When watching this guide, keep in mind that it is always a good idea to have food as I stated because you could realistically run into the chance of dying. To start off this guide, head towards the ham hideout. Once you're in the hideout, follow what I do on screen and head towards this inlet in the wall and pick lock the trap door. Once you open the trap door, climb down the ladder. After that, make sure you pickpocket every guard down there until you get caught by each one. This will make it so you are able to picklock the doors without being interrupted. Once that is done, pickpocket 10 to 15 keys at a time from these guards. After that, simply use each key on all the chests until you run out of keys. I have marked which rooms each key works for, although that should not be much of an issue seeing as how you are going to go into every door anyway. Once you have a full inventory, you can do one of two things. The first option is for those who do not have 55 magic, while the second option is for those who do have 55 magic. So the first option you are going to be able to earn anywhere from 60k an hour to 100k an hour, while the second option will land you at least 100k plus an hour. Normally somewhere around 112k, 120k, that's where I got at least. So for the first option, simply head back towards the Lumbridge Castle when your inventory is full. Make sure your trip is quick to avoid PKers as well. Always make sure you bring food with you also as a result. When you have a good amount of drops and you wish to sell them, head towards Port Serum with your drops noted. Make sure to bring food with you just in case you run into any trouble. Go to the jeweler and sell your drops. If you want to make the most money out of it, then sell roughly 5 of each jewelry piece and hop worlds. This of course being with the exception that there is more than one dead man mode world. Also, after you sell all your jewelry and if you have any gems left over, then you can sell them to the gem shop in Falador. If you want an extra escape route when doing this, then make sure to bring a white apron. You can also go upstairs into any of the houses, but if you bring a white apron, you are able to head down to the food store and then go through the one door. If people do not have a white apron, then they will not be allowed in. For the second option, bring a fire staff or fire runes as well as nature runes to alk all of the drops that you get from the chest as well as the steel items that you pickpocket from the guards. It is worth noting that drops that contain gold are not worth alking. That's all for this guide. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out in any way, then please be sure to give it a like. 